The first thing we're going to do is we are going to merge cells A1 to F1. So we're going to go to merge and then we're going to center the information. We're going to change the font size to 14 and then we're going to bold the text. Next we're going to bold line 3. So click it and then click the B for bold and we're going to bold cells A4 to A or excuse me A4 to A8. Click bold. Next we want to format the numbers in the cells to reflect a column or a comma rather. So I'm going to select B4 to F8 and then I'm going to go to format number and then I'm going to select number. Then I'm going to decrease the decimals so that there are not any decimals. Next, we're going to create a line chart. So we're going to select A3 to F8. And I'm going to insert a chart. And in the chart editor from the setup tab here, I'm going to click the chart type. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to select a line chart. You want to make sure that the switch row columns use column A as headers and use three as labels are all checked. From the customize tab we're going to go to uh, chart title and we're going to call this college football attendance. Next we're going to go to chart and access titles. We're going to click vertical access and you're going to type in number of attendees. We're going to close out of the chart editor then we are going to grab the chart and we're going to place the chart below all of the data. Next we're going to go to H3 and we're going to insert an image and we want the image to go over the cells. Then I'm going to click on Google Image Search and I'm going to type in College Football and click enter. I'm going to click an image. I'm just going to click the first one. You double click the image um, to get the image to appear. Then you're going to resize the image. You place your cursor over the right, lower right, and then you can make the image smaller. And then I'm just going to adjust the image until it appears in columns H and I. And then I'd like you to submit your line chart to Canvas.